Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing you how to create stamps using our dies. So I have a few samples here, so the product sheet will be uh, showing you this card and how to create this card. So it's all about the background here. So you might recognize the bunch of flowers and that, that's the die I'm going to use for the stamp. And then here I have, this is my first attempt of making a stamp out of foam and um, that's one of Moda Scraps flowers, the happy flowers. So just I've just been playing and it's been really fun, I'll tell you. So this background is ready to go for something else. I can put a saying on there or something totally different. Then here I have a card and it might be hard to see, but here I stamp the background like a white on white. So if you can't see it, try it because it's beautiful. And I use the happy birthday here as well, the entwined circles and the bunch of flowers there as well. So what you do, so this, this is the bunch of flower set. Let me put this aside as well. So that's the bunch of flower set and it comes with uh, three different flowers in three different sizes. And for the project today I used this one. So what you do, you take a piece of foam, so craft foam, and I backed it with our clear double-sided adhesive and run it through the die cutting machine. And I did use a metal adapter plate or a precision plate to die cut the foam because you can see it's a little bit heavier so you want to have like something extra to cut it. Then I have a piece of clear acetate and now I'm going to take out the flowers take on, and you just stick it on there and you can make single stems. I just like to, I made a composition like of three flowers but you can make it, you can make a larger stamp if you want. You can put 10 flowers on there, it doesn't matter. So you can create your own stamps. And a lot of our dies um, are really uh, good for making the stamps. I just, I just put these out of the screen. But you can see this is the pair of leaves from Moda Scrap. And they will make beautiful stamps. So I will use that in another project. So take this out. Take off the backing. And stick it on there as well. So now I have my stamp. Then I'm going to cut it uh, like more precisely. So I'm going to cut around it a bit. And I'm using the Tim Holtz snips here, the mini snips. They're pretty perfect to cut the acetate. So I'm going to cut kind of, I would say like just a small, small line around the stamp itself. Because otherwise, if you use it like this, you might, um, the acetate might pick up the ink but I'm going to attach it to a stamping block. That's it. And then I have my stamping block here. And I just use a piece of the double-sided adhesive. Just a small strip and when I remove it I can take that off again. That's it, so now it's ready to go. And then for this particular background, I used the, the, ox the Distress Oxide and I used the peeled paint, fired brick, spiced marmalade, and the fossa fossilized amber. So then I take my um, clear stamp pad, because I'm going to emb emboss it. And of course you can stamp by itself as well, like a collar. But then it's harder to get that foam clean again. So then you need to make a separate stamp for that. So just stamp it randomly. And of course you can do more precise. I'll just stamp like two corners now. And then you get the idea. And if you want to see where the pattern is, you need to heat emboss in between. Like do the embossing powder in between. So that's it. Then I'm going to take my embossing powder and I have the uh, metallic gold rich here, the super fine one. Tap it off, you see, and now here you can see your flowers. And then we're just going to heat emboss those. And this way you can make beautiful uh, backgrounds. If you use other dyes, like the pair of leaves I just showed you, you can color inside of course as well. And this is just a fun technique and it gives you the possibility to use your dies in a different way. I have to say I got this idea from Sandy Diller, one of our design team members. She made a beautiful 
beautiful uh, card, uh, like two sets of cards. You, you can find it on our blog. There you go. That's it. So that's the technique. Thank you for watching. I've suggested a couple of videos I think you enjoy. See you next time.